Let's look at the combustion of acetylene, C2H2, in a couple different flavors. Here I have the acetylene gas combustion to form carbon dioxide and gaseous water, or acetylene gas combustion to form liquid water, or acetylene liquid combustion to form liquid water. The question I have is, what are the relative sizes of these two enthalpy changes? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each answer. A, the enthalpy of vaporization of water is greater than the enthalpy of vaporization of acetylene, so delta H1 is smaller. B, the reactions are the same, just the phases are different, so the enthalpies will be the same. Or C, delta H1 is larger because water must be converted to steam, which requires additional energy. Think about those three and make a selection. We're burning acetylene in oxygen in a few different ways. So let's plot all the different phases and substances on a relative enthalpy scale. Here's gaseous acetylene and gaseous oxygen. And here's the products, gaseous carbon dioxide and liquid water. That's an enthalpy change that we could measure. But we're also talking about liquid acetylene and gaseous water and those enthalpy changes. So how do those fit in on the relative enthalpy scale? Well, we know these two relative to each other because the difference is the vaporization of the acetylene. So in order to vaporize acetylene, we'd need the enthalpy of vaporization of acetylene to convert between liquid acetylene and gaseous acetylene. We have the same type of conversion here. We have liquid water and gaseous water. So the difference between these two states is the enthalpy of vaporization of water. So the enthalpy of vaporization of water separates these two. Now, the question is, what are the relative size? And I've already made a qualitative judgment there. I made this a small enthalpy and this a large enthalpy. But could I have come up with that with just observing what was happening? And indeed, I can, because enthalpies of vaporization involve breaking of intermolecular interactions. Which of these two molecules, water or acetylene, would have the stronger intermolecular interactions? Well, water is a, is a molecule that has hydrogen bonding in the liquid state. And hydrogen bonding is the strongest form of intermolecular interaction. Acetylene doesn't have hydrogen bonding. So the enthalpy of vaporization for water will be much greater than the enthalpy of vaporization for acetylene. So now I can compare easily if this is a small enthalpy and this is a large enthalpy, then I can say, well, this enthalpy change, delta H2, is going to be larger than this enthalpy change, burning the gas to form the gas or the liquid to form the liquid. So burning from gas to gas is the lower enthalpy change. The correct answer here, delta H1, is smaller than delta H2.